We say save the best uh, for last, um, and I'm thankful uh, that they're all the best, you see. But at the end of the day, um, we invited the United government here to talk to you, and they received our request to King, um, and we want to bring on the um, Gun Investment Promotion Center, and then we're going to have Brother Frederick um, Kearney to also talk briefly. So I'd like to bring up, um, and I love his last name, uh, Medawa Love. Medawa Love, how about that? <laughs> We're gonna, let me get it right. Ghana Investment Promotion Center. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good evening once again. Uh, my name is actually McNeon. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm with the Research and Business Development Division of the Ghana Investment Promotion Center. And I'm here with my colleague, um, Timothy. All right. Okay. Um, I think uh, basically all the previous speakers um, have touched on uh, quite a significant portion of what I have to discuss with you. Um, so I'll basically just touch on some significant aspects and zoom in on the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, what we do as um, the country's investment promotion agency, and then uh, touch on uh, the procedures involved um, in investing in Ghana and um, some of the benefits that we have for investors. Um, I must um, give that assurance that um, attracting investments the FDI components, the local components, and uh, joint ventures uh, continues to be um, a top priority of government. And um, the investment environment, the environment is quite conducive for investments. Um, one major thing that um, is quite significant to discuss has to do with the stable political environment. Um, when it comes to risk for investors, um, political stability is quite significant. And uh, since Ghana's transition into the multi-party democracy since um, 1992, uh, we've had about seven elections, peaceful ones, and smooth transfer of power to five different leaders over the years. So Ghana is basically a beacon of democracy in the South region. So um, you have that assurance that your investments are safe given the stable political environment that we have. Um, we do have uh, good and stable uh, microeconomic environment as well. Um, we have improving uh, fiscal infrastructure. Um, these are some of the um, competitive advantages that the country has as um, uh, an investment destination. Now, um, the Ghana Investment Promotion Center is the central investment promotion agency that is mandated to promote and facilitate investments in all sectors of the country. And um, we perform various functions, including providing advisory services to investors, um, encouraging uh, joint ventures between Ghanaians and young non Ghanaian partners. Um, we provide uh, assistance, handholding services to investors, working them through the process, right from the process of incorporating their companies at the Registrar General's Department and completing the entire process of um, registration and um, doing business legally in Ghana. So um, basically, to invest in Ghana, um, I think I could here um, touch on it briefly. Um, from the angle of the Ghana Investment Promotion Agency, it is just a three-step process. That's a basic process um, because we seek to make um, the process of investing simple 
and streamline for the investor. So um, the first step essentially entails incorporating your company with the registrar general department. Um, then from there, you would come to the Ghana Investment Promotion Center and complete registration with the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, um, GIPC, um, for short. All right, so the first process, you incorporate your company or register your company with the Ghana um, Registrar General Department. Then the next step, you complete registration with um, GIPC. Now, to be able to complete registration with GIPC, uh, it is required that you meet um, a minimum foreign equity constitution. That is, if you are uh, into partnership with the Ghanaian, um, you meet a minimum foreign equity contribution of 200,000 uh, US dollars. Good at God Almighty. All right. Um, so that would be in the form of cash or in the form of goods or a combination of the two. All right. Now, if um, your company is a wholly foreign owned company, is registered as a wholly foreign owned company, that you are not going into partnership with a Ghanaian, uh, then the minimum for a equity contribution would be um, 500,000 um, US dollars. Love and mercy. Right. Um, that applies to um, all sectors, um, apart from um, general trade and manufacturing and export trade. Now, um, if you going into a manufacturing activity, the minimum for your equity contribution um, does not apply. So you incorporate your company at the Registrar General Department, then you come to GIPC and complete the registration process without um, meeting the minimum equity contribution. Um, when you are going to export trade, you are also exempted from the minimum for equity contribution. Now, if you are going into a general trade activity, that's um, you import products and undertake distribution on the local market, then um, you are required to meet a minimum contribution of one million um, US dollars. Okay. Um, that could be in the form of cash or the value of um, the goods that you are bringing in. You know. All right. So after um, completing the registration process with the um, Ghana Investment Promotion Centre, um, we hold your hand to be able to complete registration with um, other agencies like the Ghana Revenue Authority, and then um, you are good to go to do business. Now, some of the benefits that come with um, registry with GIPC, it is a requirement. So, uh, once a company has um, the participation of a non ghanaian in there, um, there are various incentives um, that apply or that um, investors enjoy. Um, one has to do with the exemption from the payment of custom duties and related taxes on uh, machinery or machinery imported for um, the purpose of establishing a project. So, for example, if you are going to manufacturing um, and we import machines for the purpose of establishing um, that project, um, you are exempted from the payment of uh, custom duties related taxes. Um, there are also locational incentives in that um, the corporate tax rate is 25%. But then you will be able to enjoy um, um, locational incentives that tax rebates depending on the location of or the siting of um, your, your project. So if um, a manufacturing project is cited in a district outside Tema and Accra um, and not any of the regional capitals, they will be entitled to 50% tax rebate. 
Now, if they are located in any of the regional capitals, apart from Accra and Tema, um, they will be entitled to 25% tax rebate. If you're located in a district outside the regional capitals, um, you will be entitled to 50% uh, tax rebate. Um, GIBC also provides assistance um, when it comes to the acquisition of working permits and resident permits for expatriate employees of your company. All right. Um, so we have what we call the whole test. Um, that's the number of um, working permits and residence permits that your company would be entitled to um, based on the level of minimum equity contribution of the company. Now, if the company has minimum equity that's um, below 250,000, um, you will be entitled to um, one quota. Um, any value from 250,000 to a figure less than 500,000 will be entitled to two quotas. Um, a figure from 500,000 to something less than 750,000 will be entitled to three quotas. Then um, from 750,000 upwards, you will be entitled to four quotas. Um, there is opportunity to request for uh, short-term permits and for employees. So um, you provide a reason why um, you need um, GIBC to support you to take on extra um, expertise. Then um, based on the justification for um, that, um, that will be granted. Um, so these are some of the benefits that comes with um, doing business um, in Ghana. Um, so basically, I've provided you with um, an overview of the activities of GIBC, um, the procedures involved in, um, in um, doing business in Ghana, and um, some of the benefits you know, that you could enjoy. Um, I will end it here if you have um, any question um, that could be um, addressed you know, during the question and answer session. Thank you. All right, let's give it up to our brother, Brother Justin Promotion Center. Um, they do a great job um, attracting investment um, into Ghana. And of course, they understand the importance of um, the diaspora coming in and not having to pay all that money or to bring all of that money. So what Ghana government has done, and I'm really happy to see that it's moving forward, they gave uh, citizenship a couple of years ago to diasporas, and I believe they're going to give about 200 more citizenship. Uh, this is done from the government level uh, based on some diaspora interaction with them. So we're looking forward to dual citizenship real soon without um, uh, much delay. So we expect in December uh, to have more citizenship just given to diaspora. So you can talk to me after and I'll give you information how you can sign up to get your name on the list. No strings attached, just have to be from the diaspora part of the state trade and the government's a little sensitive, and they're, they're doing it. But it's not publicized like that, and you know why. Okay, we close it now with um, 